Come on, man. Hey, come oh, in. Hey, hey, man, you're parked in the middle of the drive through line here. Hey, hey. sir, what's up, man? Hey, you're parked in the, the drive through right now. Hey, sir. You right? Dude, you're, you're, part, you're, you're sitting in the drive through line here. What's up? So you're parked in the drive through line. You're, you're, you're blocking traffic here. You were sleeping when I walked up here. What's up, man? You just having a long day or something? What's up? All right, yeah, you can't. You just you're walking. People calling said you were walking here. All right, you good? You don't need a ambulance or anything like that? Are you just tired? All right, man, just, just I'll move my car. Just pull up. Just pull somewhere and take it out. All right. All right, you good? <laughs> yeah. All right. You're just gonna. My man, my man, you doesn't mean go back to sleep. You gotta move your car. You went back to sleep. You went back to sleep. Okay, why don't you move your car into a parking spot, okay? Right now. All right. Don't go back to sleep. Just put over there. I got you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Here for the radio, uh, twenty six. Right now, thirteen oh one. Your call is coming out. She by she will be parked uh, in the back of that address. Back up, thank you. Bracey. Copy, you too. We got some radio. Go ahead. Copy, 
Hey, my man. Hey, are you good, man? You see me? You were passed out before. I want to make sure you're okay. Why did you fall asleep in the? In the... Wait on my sister. What's up? Wait on my sister. Okay, how much did you drink tonight? Not much. How much is not much? Uh, about a drink, about twelve today. All right. Hey, do you have your license on you, real quick? Yeah. All right. Oh, no, you say one drink. What kind of drink was it? It was just one little margarita. How about any, any drugs today? Absolutely. I don't do drugs okay. at all. Okay. Oh, uh, is this a rental car? What's, what's the deal with that? I said to. Uh, said to. You what? Rental. Rental, gotcha. Where'd you rent it from? Um, some place down off of town. Okay, I got you. All right, you keep looking for your license, all right? Well, I'm, I'm going to get out. No, I, just just stay in the car for me, all right? I mean, just stay in the car for me. Just look for your license. Three or four to radio. Go ahead. We have any uh, available DUI certified officers working in the zone right now. I don't have any DUI certified units code seven. Three or four to radio. It's possible we can raise one to come to this location. Copy that. Thank you. All right, man, just stay in the car for a minute, all right? Keep looking for your license. All right. I'll be right back with you, all right? All right, appreciate it. Hey, taxi, kid. 1023, go ahead. Yeah, my zombie unit's getting ready to come over. 304 to the detective radio. If I could get a DUI certified officer to my location, uh, which is, hold on a second. So, 125 University Ave Southwest is the Wendy's parking lot. 1023, I copy, you can go to pack one. Yeah, I copy. Yeah, no one radio, can you send me that unit call? 1021, I copy. Three or four on tack one, requesting DUI. 1021 on tack one. Hey, if I can just get a DUI certified officer out here, I got a guy sleeping in the Wendy's parking lot. Smell of alcohol. Hard to wake him up. He's fumbling with his license. Uh, he told me he had one drink a few hours ago, but he, uh, he's pretty out of it. Definitely got some good amount of liquor in him right now. Alright, is he still in the vehicle? Have you detained him or anything? I'm just standing by with him right now. I don't know. Alright, I'm coming up 75. Pass your please now. Copy, appreciate it. 
All right. All right, just wait. Just stay on the car with me for a minute, all right? Two we... rain. I'm not sure. <laughs> all right, hey, just, just stay on the car with me, all right? Yeah, I'll check. What's up? Check. What's up, man? I just had it when I had it at the uh, hotel. Okay. But I did went to Rogue. Yeah. And, uh... They asked me for it, but they they had it the day before. All right. So it was like, hey, right. Mr. Brooks. All right, you good. Join you hop back the car for me, all right? All right. All right. Appreciate it. I'm sorry, no problem. No, you come in, just. Hey. Right. What's your name, sir? Uh, Rayshard Brooks. How do you spell that for me? R A Y S H. R A Y S H. A R D. A R D. Okay. What's your date of birth? January 31st, 1993. January 31st, 93? Yes, sir. Alright, alright. Hang tight with me, alright? I'll be right back with you. Alright. 304 the radio. You can put in the notes, uh, DUI certified officers been advised when he's around. Hey man, just stay. Hey, stay in the car. All right, hey, just stay in the car with me, though, all right? I don't want you asking. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, man. Cool. Thank you. My wallet. I yeah. Said, man, you know, I just had my wallet. Right. Say yeah. I called my sister. She said, yeah, you had it. All right. Why don't you just put it in your sofa? I said, right. yeah, cool. Let me just walk back to the car, man, all right? Thanks for asking me here. Where are you coming from? Um, Actually, I just came from getting something, uh, something to eat. Okay. From uh, over to the road. Okay. Hey, why'd well, you just get back in the car with me? I hate to keep asking. I don't want to... I just want to make sure you know, man, everything's good. Yeah, you're good, man. Just get... Why don't you stay in the car for me, all right? I don't want to keep asking you. Just, just sit in the car for me and relax for a minute, all right? Okay. Sir. Oh, no problem, no problem. Right, just stay in the car with me, all right? I hate to keep asking. What's your name, sir? Brosnan. Mr. Rosnan. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. I'm, right. I apologize. You're good, man. Just, get, just stay in the car with me. So, wh where were you coming from to get something to eat, you said? Over over on Jonesboro. Jonesboro? Okay, so what, what are you doing here? Something to eat. <laughs> again? You just got something to eat again here? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. I was trying to see what she wanted, but like I said, yeah. she she was answering and like, babe, what what do you want to eat? Yeah. She's like, you I don't eat? know. All right, hey, just why are you hop in the car, me? All right, just just relax in the car. What do you uh? Are you just are you here for a visit or what's uh? I'm visiting. Where are you visiting? Uh, my mother's grave site. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. How, how long has she uh, passed for? It's it's been probably about a year and a half now, but. Okay, I'm sorry. My that. birthday's just passed, and uh, my girlfriend's birthday just yeah. passed. But I, I went to visit her, and yeah. All right. We decided to eat Burger King tonight, and hey, this happened. Right, I, I hear you. I say, babe, what was scores? Right. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have, we're gonna talk to this officer here for a minute, and then uh, we'll be good to go. Okay? Oh no, no problem. All right, thank you, sir. All right, stay in the car. Stay right there. Hey, what's going on? So, found him passed out in the parking lot. He's sitting here. So he was in the drive. Yeah, he's, he's okay. on. Cars on. Took me like a few minutes to wake him up. Kept knocking. Opened the door, but shook him. Woke up super groggy. Got you know pretty good smell of alcoholic beverage coming out of the car. Eyes are watery and glassy. Snorted his words. Wasn't really sure where he was. And uh, telling me he had one drink. He said earlier. Standard size. Tried to say, oh, I think just one drink. But I can smell alcohol. I'm still. And uh, he's trying to tell me. I was where you coming from. He said, Well, I'm coming from. Uh, Jonesboro, I got food. I said, well, what are you doing here? I got more food. So he's really not too clear, like, that could, I got right. here, got there. But I mean, he started so, his words. And so this was a 911 call, right? Yeah, yeah, the drive through called it in. So somebody called because he was in the drive through He just passed out in the car. Passed out in the drive through Yep. Okay. That's and where I found him. Had him pull over. Yeah, I had him move out of the way. And then when he pulled up, he actually hit over the curb onto the grass and 
like backed it up. Okay. So I, you know, as I leave him here, he's just gonna drive again. You know? Sure, absolutely. All right, let me go talk. To him. All right. You have his ID? Yeah. Right there. This is a rental car. He's that he's uh, visiting from Ohio. Hey, Mr. Brooks. Brooks, how you doing? Hey, I'm Officer Rolf from the Atlanta Police Department. How you doing? I'm going just fine. All right, so uh, tell me, I wasn't here, so can you tell me what uh, what That's happened it. before we got here? All uh, right, nothing happened. I just got here and was getting some need. Where are we, where are we coming from? Uh, well, my friend dropped me off here, and you, she she brought me here to get something to eat. And your friend dropped you off where? Here. At Wendy's. Yes. Okay. So. Was, the home lodge. So where's your friend now? She's at the hotel. What yeah. hotel? Oh, uh, right here at the home lodge. Where is that? What's the address to it? I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, I know she's here at the home lodge. All right. So how did how did she drop you off here? She drove here and dropped me off. In in what car? In uh, a black Volvo. Okay. Actually. So how did this car get here? I mean, it was here before I came. Like, this is my car, it's a rental car, my sister. But, I mean, like I told her, I, I, I came here, I met her here. Okay. From the beginning, and she picked me up. And, I mean, we went out. So we you met her here at the Wendy's? Yes. And then you went out with her? Yes. And, and then she, she came, came and dropped back you off? here. Okay. And, you know, I mean, like I told her, I mean, say, hey, babe, you know, I, I just want a burger or I want fries. She said, hey, no problem. I'll take you there. All right. You get your fries and you come back to the hotel. Okay. No so problem. the reason why we're here is because somebody called 911 because you were asleep behind the wheel while you were in the drive through right? You recall that? I don't. I don't. You don't recall that? You don't no. recall just minutes ago where you were passed out behind the wheel in the drive through Uh-uh. You don't recall that at all? A absolutely. It's a complete, I don't. Just complete blur. I, I wasn't driving. Like I said, I, I just drank. My uh, girlfriend, she probably was uh, sleeping, but like I said, I said, babe, I want French fries. So far as I'm up. aware, you're the only per person that's been seen in this vehicle, right? Yeah, only person. And you've been in the driver's seat the whole time. So how did the car get into the drive-thru line with you behind the wheel? She drove here. I okay. said, babe, I'm drinking. You know, in a black car. In the black ball ball. And you got into your car. I said, hey, you know what? No problem. I'll just meet you at the hotel. Okay. And she said, hey, right. get out. Hold on, hold on. So after she drops you off here in her black car, your car was parked where? Here. Okay. So how did your car get from here to the, the drive through line? I, I never moved. So how did it get there? It, it never did get there. I, I told you I was in her car. Well, we've got a 911 call of people reporting a guy passed out behind the wheel in the line this officer gets here and sees you everything's on camera sees you sees in the line here in the line in the well, line I, was, I wasn't in the line did i pull you over in the line i, I walked you, up you had to wake up man you didn't in pull the, him right over. here no over there i had to wake up well look they went back to sleep and i had to wake up again like i said i i'm i'm sorry if i Y'all, I, I just got something to eat. I went to visit my mother grave site. I'm not causing any problems. Well, we got to make sure that you're safe to operate a vehicle. Now, do you know where you are? Yeah, absolutely. Where I'm are the farthest part, Old Dixie Highway. Old Dixie Highway. The Fort home Street. lodge is there, right, right here. Subway. Right. A subway. Okay. So it's a subway right here. I'm, I'm, I'm cool. Like I said, I could, I could. So you, you think that you're in Forest Park right now? I'm on Old Dixie Highway, Clayton County. Right. No, you're not. Well, Forest Park, Georgia. No. Jonesboro, Georgia. No. Try again. I have to. I mean, like I said, I'm on Old Dixie Highway. Nope. I'm not on Old Dixie Highway. No. Quite a ways away from it. Huh? This is a bridge is here. Nope. No bridge. No, I'm saying Old Dixie Highway. You're not near Old Dixie Highway. I'm not. You're, you're not even in Clayton County. Where am I? You're in Atlanta. Yes. Old Dixie Highway. Old Dixie Highway is not in Atlanta. This is Forest Park, Georgia, right? Right. This isn't Forest Park. This is Atlanta. I mean... Anyway, how much have you had to drink today? I drank earlier. Okay. How much have you had to drink? That's when I had... 
had one drink. Oh, uh, you're not being honest with me. How much did you have to drink? I had one drink. Be honest with you. I Over had... the course of the entire evening, from the time you started drinking until your very last drink, how many drinks did you consume? I had one drink. What kind of drink was it? A margarita. Uh, oh, okay. How big was the margarita? It was just a small cup. A small cup? Yes, right. sir. Have you taken any medication today? No, sir. Any drugs of any kind? Marijuana, no, cocaine, nothing like that? No, sir. Do you have any medical conditions, physical defects? Hold on, let me finish. Do you have any medical conditions, physical defects, or injuries that would affect your ability to walk, balance, no, I'm, I'm or cool. operate a vehicle safely? I'm okay. Nothing whatsoever? No, sir. No, no sir. issues on the end of No, sir. All right. Uh, can you, can you take your hat off for me and just leave it in your car for me? You just leave it in your car. Can you step out with me, please? Yes, sir. Well, back here. Do you have any weapons on you or anything like that? I don't have anything on me. Is it okay if I patch you down just make sure? If you... I have just I money. Gas, and that was it. Is it okay if I pat you down to make sure you don't have any weapons? Absolutely. Right, can you just turn around face away from me real quick? What is this? Is it just a bunch of money in your pocket? Uh, it's just my wallet. What's, what's all this? It's just your money. Why do you ha how much money do you have in your pocket? Um, I mean, maybe a couple hundred bucks. Okay. Like a bunch of ones and stuff here? Yeah, absolutely. Can you walk over here with me, please? This is one. Yes, this is one. Yes, I do remember. <laughs> you can see the sign, right? Absolutely. All right. I, I just came to get something. Hey. Uh, you mind just putting your phone on the trunk of your car? I don't want you to have anything in your hand. All right. All right. So no medical conditions, no, no injuries, no, no physical sir. defects. No. Are you comfortable sir. walking in these shoes? Absolutely. Well, they're brand new. I just bought them. Can you walk in them without falling, stumbling, anything like that? Um, Staggering. You walk in them okay? I just bought them. Can you walk in them okay? You don't have to, to show me. I'm just asking, <laughs> are you comfortable walking in the shoes? I mean, I, they are comfortable, but... Right. I just like to do some field sobriety tests, and if you'd like, if you'd prefer, you can keep them on. If you're more comfortable with it, you can take them off. I, I hadn't been, like I said, I hadn't been operating this vehicle. Yeah, you have. All right, so... You know, so she, she came here, I, I got in the car, she parked. I have no problem. Like I said, I was just trying to get me something to eat. Okay. And go back to my hotel. All right. Well, we have a police officer that actually personally witnessed you operating the vehicle, so we know you're operating the vehicle. All right. But are you comfortable walking in the shoes? Absolutely, sir. All right. Will you do some field sobriety tests for me, uh, so I can make sure you're safe to operate the vehicle? What 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 should I What should I do, sir? Well, first off, I just want to know you're comfortable walking in your shoes. You don't want to do all that. Just it's just yes or no. Can you walk in the shoes while yes, falling? Sir. Okay, yes, very good. All right. Just turn, face me. Put your feet together with your hands down by your side. All right. Can you see the tip of my finger? Yes, sir. All right. I want you to focus on the tip of my finger and follow it with your eyes without moving your head. Do you understand? Yes, sir. All right. Don't move your head. Keep your head still. Follow it with just your eyes. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes, sir. All right. Very good. Nothing like Down and up, so focused on the tip of my finger, follow with just your eyes without moving your head. Breathe. 
Or it's going to be a silver Chevy Equinox that needs to be removed from the system. And for the head phone. Last four, six, All right. Back up a little bit. Can you stand where my light is? Right. Stand with your feet together. Hands down by your side. Don't start anything until it's easy. Do you understand? Okay. I want you to imagine a straight line coming out from your left foot. Take your right foot. Put it heel to toe in front of your left. Just like this. Keep your hands by your side. Hold that position until it's easy to start. Don't begin until it's easy. Do you understand? Okay. Right. You're going to take a series of nine heel to toe steps. Counting them out loud. One. Two, three. I took three steps. You're going to go all the way to nine. When you get to nine, leave your lead foot planted. Take a series of small steps to turn yourself around. Take nine more heel to toe steps. One, two, three, all the way until nine. All right. You're in the test. Look down at your feet. Count your steps out loud so that I can hear them. Keep your hands by your side and don't stop walking until you complete the test. You understand? Yeah, absolutely. Do you have any questions about how to form the test? Um, no, sir. All right. Here, get back in that starting position. Put your right foot heel to toe in front of your left. Right foot heel to toe in front of your left. Thirteen to five. We're going to be out of the south. Heel to toe in front of your left. There you go. Cowboy left first. Well, it was it was kind of off. All right. So these from, shoes are kind of long. Right, are you comfortable performing the test in those shoes? Yes, sir. If you want, you have the option to take them off. You want to leave them on? Can I take them off? It's I up to you. They're brand new. It's up to you. Take, you can leave them on or you can take them off. Whatever you're most comfortable with. Um, I'm not sure. I'm brand oh, I'm new. I'm not sure. I can't they're, be... they're brand new, sir. I just put them on. Okay. But I haven't even drove in them or anything. But it's up to you. What do you want? All right. You want to do it with them on? Yes. All right. If you understand the, the, all the instructions, you have no questions, go ahead and begin whenever you're ready. You said, rep repeat that again for me for the sobriety. You want me to demonstrate it again? Yes, sir. All right. Hold that position. Don't begin until I tell you to. Watch me while I demonstrate, okay? your hands by your side. You're going to take a series of nine heel to toe steps, counting them out loud. One, two, three. I took three steps, you're going to go all the way to nine. When you get to nine, with your lead foot planted, take a series of small steps to turn yourself around. Take okay. nine more heel to toe steps. One, two, three, three, all the way until nine. While okay. you're doing that, look down at your feet, your hands by your side, count your steps out loud so that I can hear them, and don't stop walking until you complete the test. You understand? Start one mile. Uh, you're going to start in that starting position with your right foot, heel to toe in front of your left. All right. Do you have any questions about how to form the test? No, sir. All right. If you understand all the instructions, go ahead and begin whenever you're ready. One, two, three, four. Turn around. Nine. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Hey, I'm going to I'm going to We're busy. They're going to have to call. Oh, I'm, I'm not you just stand right there. Face my car again. Put your feet together. Hands down by your side. Don't start anything until I tell you to. To pick whichever foot you're most comfortable with, raise that foot approximately six inches above the ground, keeping both legs straight and your foot parallel to the ground. Look at your toe and count out loud 1001, 1002, 1003, and so on until I tell you to stop. While you're doing that, keep your hands by your side, focus on your toe, and count out loud as I instructed. You understand? Yes, sir. All right, do you have any questions about how to form the test? Up, count out, out loud 1001, 1002. 1003, 1004, 1005, you take your stop. Alright. Alright, do you have any questions about anything I demonstrated or how to perform the test? No, sir. Alright, if you understand all the instructions clearly, go ahead and begin it if you're ready. 1001, 1002, 1009, 1010, 1011, 1012, 1013, 1015. Pick it up, keep going. 1016, 1017. Are you going to stop? 13, 13, right here. 
All right. On a scale from one to ten, with one being completely sober and ten being very impaired, how do you feel right now? I feel kind of good, sir. I feel, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm a knowledgeable of everything that's going on, and like I said, I mean, if I just came to get something to eat. You know, and I have people that verify they they made their order. I'm here right at the hotel home lodge, and you know it's probably about maybe two minutes away from here. Did Did you understand what I asked you? Did you understand the question? Repeat it again for me. On a scale from one to ten, with one being completely sober and ten being very impaired, how do you feel? I'm ten. I'm very impaired. You feel very impaired? Absolutely, I'm, I'm okay. I can I can do whatever. Like I said, I can I can I can make it happen, sir. I, I I don't I don't think that means what you think it means. So, one being completely sober, haven't drank anything, and ten being hammered drunk. How do you feel? I'm one. On a scale from one to ten. I'm one. You feel completely sober. I'm, I'm I like I said, I just woke you, up. You don't feel the effects of the alcohol that you had whatsoever. Absolutely not. not I can all. I can make it I can make it wherever I need to be. I'm right here. Like I said, I'm home lodge, sir. Home lodge isn't close to here. It's, it's right behind the home lodge right here, ain't it? Where do you think you are right now? I'm on Old Dixie Highway. You're not on Old Dixie Highway. Well I'm not on Old Dixie what Highway. What city do you think you're in? She brought me here. We have nine pending one part two, single thirty five at seventeen. I was on Jonesboro. I have a couple So what of city are you in? Atlanta. Atlanta. Yes. It's on, on what road? Um McDonald Boulevard? No. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's go back. How much have you had to drink? She was drinking. Like I said, she brought me here. I don't know who she is. I don't care who she is. I said how much have you been drinking? It's a couple. That's one. I had one and a half. That was it. So, is it a couple or is it one or is it one and a half? I put when I got to the half, I put it away. I said, "Babe, let's go." I feel you know I need to make it home. So and one and a half safe. drinks. Yes, sir. Right. Of what? Um, it was just a daiquiri. A daiquiri. Yes. One and a half daiquiri. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. So it was just a. It was just a daiquiri. A daiquiri. But um, nothing else. Nothing else. Only nothing. a daiquiri. Only. You haven't had a margarita or anything? No, no, no. It's just uh, um, like the, the green little daiquiri thingy. But like I said, if 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 I call it, I I never intend to you know bring anybody into problems. I just wanted me a burger. So, but but no margaritas at all today. No, no, it's just daiquiri. Just a daiquiri. Yes. Yeah. And you, and you, didn't, and you haven't, you haven't drove your vehicle at all. You, you say you caught me in the right there, right there. I woke you up, and then I said you need to move the car, and then you said okay, and then you went back to sleep. Then I opened your door again, I had to shake you, and you woke up, and then I asked you to move the car over there. That's the BP by the Marathon Jump for Road. This is University Avenue. Yes. This is University Avenue. Yep. My I grown up here. Okay. You know, she's my girlfriend. Okay. She left off. I said, babe, I'm gonna get Wendy's and I'm gonna go back to where. That's, that's that's what I asked you was, have you drove that vehicle? I mean, probably from from the point yep. of the drive through to here to park. Okay. And how did it get into the drive through? She pulled out. I pulled out from here where this this red car was. I remember this red car pulling so out. So it got into the drive-through because you drove it into the drive-through, correct? I, I mean, if 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 you caught me in the drive-through, then I, I didn't drive here. My I question is, here. your vehicle got into the drive-through it, because you drove it. I backed there, out right? and drove. You know, say, baby, baby, I need burgers. She said, okay, fine, I'm going home. My question, no, no problem. My, so, I just so I understand what happened clearly. Your vehicle was in a parking spot. Your girlfriend dropped you off. You got into your vehicle. You backed it out and you pulled it into the drive-thru, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, then, sir, Mr. Roth. And then, what led to you falling asleep behind the wheel? 
I dre I I was on the phone calling her. She didn't answer. She didn't answer. She didn't answer. She didn't answer. I said, "Babe, last time I answered, I said, baby, uh, I'm getting burgers, and you know what's going on." She said, "Uh, you you supposed to get burgers? Just go ahead and get burgers." And the phone went dead. Okay. I said, "Well, uh, you don't know your order. You know whatever the case may be. Just let me know." And the phone went dead. Like I said, I can call her now. She stays right down the road. I have a, a, a parking spot right down the street here. Okay. If I, like I said, if I cause any problems well, or anything. Did you understand the question that I asked you? Yes. What did I ask you? You said, how did it, my car get from the driving spot to the, to the drive? Right. Well, that was the previous question. We established, we, we answered that question. My next question was, what led to you falling asleep behind the wheel? Why did you fall asleep behind the wheel? I fell asleep because I can't, I can't, I can't blame nothing on her. It was my decision. I said, hey, if she can't get her order, her order together, and you know I'm not feeling you know up tight right now, I should just park right here, go to sleep. I'm not feeling you know I'm 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 just not feeling right. What do you mean you're not feeling right? She, like do I said. Do you think maybe that you had too much to drink and you realized that you shouldn't drive so you park? I mean. Would that be accurate to say? Yes, sir. Mr. Roth, yes. All right, so your girlfriend dropped you off. You got into the car. I you backed out. And you pulled up. Her. And you're like, damn, I'm too drunk to drive. And so you pull back into the parking spot and park. Right? I call her like, bang. Oh, is that accurate? If, if if it, it's a couple of moments I got on the phone with her, yeah, I'm like, babe, hey, damn, you know, um, you want number one or number two or? But she's like, would babe, you would you agree? You uh, you take care of that. You're a man. You figure out what we're going to eat tonight. All right, All right. Well, let's move past that. Would you agree that you've had too much to drink to drive? I mean, I can focus, Mr. Mr. Ralph. I can focus. Would you agree that you had too much to drink to I, drive? I haven't had. You know, to the point where I can't focus. Okay. I was a little tired ahead of the day because we just came from North Carolina. Do you think that you're safe to operate a vehicle right now? Absolutely, Mr. Roth. And how much have you had to drink? I had two margar uh, one and a half margaritas, Mr. Roth. One and a half margaritas? Yes, sir. Margaritas? Yes. Have you had anything else today? Any other type of drink? No, sir. You haven't had any daiquiris? I haven't had no daiquiri. I had one and a half little small cups of margarita, but margarita. I can. I'm up now. Y'all got me up with this. Got you up. I'm up now. I got if you. I, if hey, will you take a preliminary breath test for me? Uh, what's, what's that? It's a little handheld machine. I have you blow into it. And that lets me know if you're uh, positive or negative for the presence of alcohol in your breath. I've, I've been drinking. Okay. I, I, I do um, say that. Okay. But I'm only going a few minutes down the road. I got you. I'm just asking, will you take a preliminary breath test for me? I mean, I, I don't know what it is. I just said it's a little handheld machine. Let me know if it's positive or, or negative for the presence of alcohol. That's part of my investigation. You know it is the presence. I've I know. Been drinking. I know. I can tell. That's just part of my investigation. But it's like just, I said, listen, I, listen, I, I, if I have to park this car right here right now, and hold on. Walk, it's, it's just a yes or no. I don't. We don't need to go back and forth about it. It's just a yes or no. But what if I what if I take this test and I, I don't care about. I can walk home. Why I don't you, have to. I don't have to. Park, why, would, park legit. why would you walk home? I just don't want to be in violation of anybody. I can walk. My my sister's house is right here. Do you think that you'd be in violation of something if you if, if you were to drive your vehicle? If if you know if that's less possible for me to park here, lock the car up, and do everything that I need to do within the presence of you guys. I can just go home. I have my daughters there right now. My three, my daughter's birthday was yesterday. All right. Hold on, Miss Brooks. Will you take a preliminary breath test for me? It's yes or no. I don't want to refuse anything. Uh, it's yes or no. It's completely up to you. Yes, I will. Okay. Just wait here while I grab. Oh man. 
just trying to make sure, man, you're safe to drive, that's all. I know, man. I just... You, you, you scared me a little bit because you were sleeping in there, so that's, you know, why I was making sure you're okay. You know, and then that's... I know, I know. You're just doing your job. All right, just take a deep breath in. Put your mouth over the mouthpiece. Blow as hard as you can until I tell you to stop. Blah, 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 blah. Stop. Very good. I just uh, had a, a few drinks. That's it. How many? One and a half. Like I said, I was into the second cup. I wasn't even... I told her, babe, let's go because I'm hungry. I what need what to kind eat. of drinks did you have? Uh, I'm not sure. It's something she ordered. She said top shelf or whatever. Top shelf what? I'm not sure. It was, like I said, it was her birthday and... It was my daughter's birthday intent to, you know, have a good time. And I said, babe, you know, I'm hungry. Let's go. My 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 baby's mom, she was there. I said, babe, go ahead. I'm cool. You know, here's the money for the blow-up bed tomorrow. Here's the money for, you know, to enjoy herself tomorrow. Just, you know, give me a burger or, or something. Uh, right. Just... Take me home. I'm ready to go. So you had about one and a half drinks, but you don't remember what kind of drinks they were? No, sir. All right. I really don't, Mr. All right. I think you've had too much to drink to be driving. Put your hands behind your back for me. Here, put your hands behind your back. Hey, hey, stop fighting. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. You're gonna get tased! You're gonna get tased! Stop! Mr. Wrong! Stop! You're gonna get tased! Mr. Wrong! Hey, that's not the fucking taser! Hey, that's not the taser! Stop fighting! Stop fighting! Stop fighting! Stop fighting! Stop fighting! Stop Come on, man!